Who did you have as the BOG? I personally had Dangerfield, but I think this is a really interesting chat and full respect to Isaac Smith. This is how I'm going to summarize those games. I do think Isaac Smith is a deserving Norm Smith medalist, absolutely, but Danger was my best on. This is how I'd separate their games. Smith was probably the most productive player on the field. He was everywhere. He played an amazing grand final. It helps when you kick the goals that he did and at the time that he did. So I think he's very deserving. I thought his touch was amazing all game as well. He was really good at roving the spoils of his defenders very cleanly. He had such a clean set of hands and heaps of inside 50s early. He did a bit of everything. He had 11 inside 50s for the game. 11 inside 50s, exactly. I believe that, absolutely. So he, he was the most productive. However, as you said... Dangerfield was the apex predator of this game. Dangerfield was the force looming over this game. If you ask me who's the best player out there, I would say Dangerfield 10 times out of 10. He, he had seven goal assists, or score assists, six goal assists. He was in everything. It was such an awesome, awesome game to see for his legacy. So that's my answer. What do you yeah. reckon? Uh, I I agree. I'm going to go with Dangerfield. Um, he was the apex predator. Um, and just a, a few more stats to, to go by as well. So he did have 13 score involvements, nine clearances, seven inside 50s. Yep. And and there was a lot of... Uh, a lot of his, his efforts, like defensive efforts, were really noticeable as well. So I think... There was a time in the uh, second or third quarter where he had a really nice spoil on Oli Florent, which led to a Guthrie goal. Third quarter, yep. yeah. Third quarter. Uh, there was another one of Jeremy Cameron's goals. Was a uh, there was two really big efforts by Dangerfield. Mm -hmm. So this doesn't come up onto the score sheet, but you know that that goal was a direct result of Dangerfield. And then also De Koning's last goal. That's it. Yep. He was a beast and he hacked it around the corner to yeah. the Koning on the line. Yeah. It was just because he was so much bigger and stronger than his Sydney counterparts that he could manage to kick the ball to De Koning. I thought he was special. But then, yeah, I think Isaac Smith, yeah, really productive. Like for him, for us not to say that he was the best on ground shows just how good Dangerfield was. Exactly. Because Smith was that really, again, that really nice connection between uh, defense and offense that we, we love. And he was so clean with the ball, especially his handballing. Yes. Like we all know Isaac Smith as a, a racehorse and he's got a beautiful um, raking kick, but I thought his hands were really clean today. It well. was it was probably the tightest two-man race for Norm that I can remember, to be honest, because on rewatch, as the game went on, I became more leaning towards danger and that's because there were so many fun sequences. Like, let's keep reeling off danger sequences. So Isaac Smith's um, center clearance goal, what Dangerfield does in that center clearance is he dives in, wrenches it out, releases the ball. Uh, I'm pretty sure Stengel's goal in the second quarter, which was the center clearance goal, also came from a Dangerfield release to Atkins. So you, you rewind on so many of them. But then the other thing I noticed, Oli, funnily enough, is you, that very same rewind, Isaac Smith was in so <laughs> many of those sequences. Yeah. Yeah, so he just kept coming back. So it was an amazing performance from both players. Remember last week, he was just an aerial beast. Mm -hmm. But this game was whenever the ball was on the ground, he was like the way that I would use to describe Patrick Dangerfield was he was like a, a massive cat chasing his prey and the prey was the ball. Yep. And he'd just jump get the ball, he'd be on his hands on, uh, on his knees and then he'd just do a release handball. Well, then he'd be hitting up targets. It was... He was the apex predator of this game.